partner, <laughs> when you've got an accountability partner who's also working on their goals as well mm-hmm. and they're smashing it, you're then like, okay, look, we need <laughs> to <laughs> really, yeah. we need, even if it's slow progress, it's progress and that feels good. Like, Career yeah. and finance took like two and a half hours. Yeah. yeah. In case the way we do it helps you, we want to share and I'm going to go through the different steps of how we do it, how we keep each other accountable and then we'll share some of our goals just so that you can get an example of them. Goals don't have to be what I want to achieve. It mm-hmm. can be what do I want to change that's not going right. Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're returning, what's up if you're new? Hello and welcome. My name is Aggie, for those that don't know, I'm a professional dancer and this channel focuses on my two passions which are dance and wellness sprinkled with vlogs and my life. So in this video, we have got Abby Curls. Oh yeah, in the house. Hi girl. Hi. Hi. Back again. Good, I'm feeling great. Well, this video is very different. To the yeah. one that we did last yeah. time, we had shots, we had alcohol, we yeah. had books. We have this books time. We laptop. have got yes. like. <laughs> <laughs> if you haven't watched that video, it was how well do we know each other? Best friend edition. It was really really funny. Some things came out, so you can definitely watch <laughs> that now. So this video is going to be how we set our annual goals, 2022 edition. Because I don't know if you're feeling it, but 2022. It'll yeah. be the year. No, I'm excited about 2022 for sure. Yeah, how do you feel 2021 was? I mean, that could be a whole separate video, but that could be a whole separate video. Um, mm, kind of for me, it was kind of stagnant. Like nothing great happened, nothing terrible happened. So it was quite. Mm, I didn't really like years like that. It wasn't very yeah. eventful. But yeah. I mean, it's understandable because we were obviously in a pandemic for a lot of it. Um, and we're just coming out of that now. But yeah, I entered 2021 in a bit of a funk anyway, and it kind of, let's just call 2021 a funk, but I'm feeling so out of that funk now, yeah. and I feel good about 2022, so I'm sure that 2022 is gonna be a lot better. Yes. Yes. Me and Abs, just for background, we do usually do goals together, just because I think we are quite disciplined individuals, so therefore when we set goals, and we know that the person has set goals, it helps us keep up with our goals. So I think after a few years of doing this, we've kind of found a method that seems to work. We didn't do it for 2020 because I was in Kenya living my best life. <laughs> the last thing I was thinking about is a goal. <laughs> I was just thinking about when I'm getting a pina colada. That is literally it. So yeah, even this year we didn't set them. Yeah. But we have still discussed goals within this year Mm -hmm. you know and we've still achieved goals yeah so this year we just thought why not share why not make a video to help maybe you set some goals in case the way we do it helps you we want to share and i'm going to go through the different steps of how we do it how we keep each other accountable and then we'll share some of our goals just so that you can get an example of them so (laughs) first of all i'm really excited for 2022 2021 was great i'm not gonna lie like this it's been an adventurous year, but I think 2022 there's just like bubbling. You know, there's just like there's, You're ready for there's something. And I know of course so much so much has happened for all of us in 2021. So collectively it feels detached. Mm-hmm. Individually was great, but I feel like 2022 has a collective unison yeah. of success. Yes. So what is a goal? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> nursery let's start there's an acronym for goal setting which we do use because i think it hones in and kind of mm. stops you going away with the fairies but yeah. it also pushes you to doing something smart is the acronym and it stands for specific measurable achievable realistic and timely so when you're setting a goal for 2022 have those things in mind yeah it's just like yeah. a like a baseline guideline for your goal. So specific, I'm trying to think of ones that we've done. 5 a.m. club four to five times a week. So specific. Yeah. Measurable. How, like, how many, many days? days? Yeah. Achievable. I mean, I've been doing it for, we've been doing it for a year. Yeah. So I think realistic. Yes. And timely. I mean, timely. Is that really Time, Yeah. Timely, I guess. With with a goal like that, Aggie would be starting that instantly. 
because yeah. you're going to start that from tomorrow morning right. or whatever or yeah. you're going to start it on the 1st of January mm -hmm. but then some other goals will be like by March I want to have mm -hmm. achieved this yeah so you set the check-ins and yeah yes but that's basically a baseline so if you want to write that down just so that when just to help you it's not it doesn't all of them have to fall under that but just to mm -hmm. help you start so how do we set goals <laughs> Before we actually have a session, and I'm laughing because Abby was like so ready, <laughs> and I did mine like, like later, much later than she did leading up to the date. She was like, "Are you free this date?" Yeah. So we're doing our goal setting, and she's like, "I've got yeah, like information plans." Yeah. If you can do it with someone, I think this helps, and accountability increases much, much more. So we plan when we're going to do it, and then individually we set the goals. So yeah. the way we've naturally structured it is in different categories, which are um, personal which slash relationships, um, career, finance, health and, and wellness. Health. Yeah. And health. And then we both come with our goals ready. So this is it for you to be like, oh, what shall I do? Yeah. Abby, like what do you think structure. I should do? Yeah. It's about you having the structure already and saying it out loud like talking about it yeah makes it feel i mean it feels real when you write it down but when you can when you speak about it and especially to someone else it's like that's out that's out on the open now you someone said else it. knows you said it. so you have to live up to that now so yeah is it and when you talk about it i found that when we had our session earlier this morning and i was speaking i was adding little extra bits onto it as well yeah so there's definitely like, speak about it. Just try and share it with somebody. Even if you don't have a session with somebody, try and share something with somebody because it may add more to your list. Yes. And when, like she said, you add to it because once you have that sounding board, like Abby said, oh, but what about this? Mm. And then, oh, what about this? And I'm like, oh, but Abby, have you thought about this? And then that adds to your goals and you're like, oh my God, because somebody that you know is seeing your goals from a you perspective. And so they can yeah. actually tell you, but mm, how you go and do that though. Yeah. So it feels much more, and they can tell you that, that, not realistic. I don't really believe in that's too unrealistic. I just believe, do you have an action plan to get there? So they can actually question that and they can be like, yeah, but what about this or what about it's that? It's like filling the cracks of your plan that you maybe didn't recognize yourself. Yeah. yeah. So when you're planning alone, mm -hmm. What you planned alone, is that what you brought here? Or do you have a process in itself when you're planning alone? Um, I think my process is quite long because I knew as we were getting to the end of the year, I knew that we were probably going to have, well, I knew that whether I was doing it with Aggie or not, that I was going to have a goal setting session. Mm. So then if I was thinking, um, that area is lacking a little bit. So say I, I was working one day and I, was struggling with something so I'm like okay that's a weakness so I'll note it down ahead like anticipating that that's going to be included in my goals or like mm -hmm. how I can tweak that in my goals so I'm always noting things down I'm noting down good things bad things and then I'll read over those notes to then get a more concise list and how I can actually take those little bits and turn it into a goal or mm -hmm. into a how am I going to change this yeah that kind of thing. Um, and then when I wrote the list that we went over this morning, it was then breaking it down into the categories, kind of just sitting, brainstorming, thinking, what can I improve in this area? What is already working? Why is that already working? And then take the, why is that already working and apply it to like the other areas that are maybe a bit weaker. Mm -hmm. And then it just turned into like, I mean, it wasn't really in depth and detailed, but mm -hmm. you have your categories, you have your bullet points underneath. They're kind of more like talking points because I knew we were going to be discussing it. Mm -hmm. So then you elaborate more in person and then I'm typing away yeah. as we're talking through it. So yeah, yeah, that was my process. So basically find someone, hopefully you can find someone to do this with. That's number one, because your <clears> rate <throat> of actually keeping the goals are much higher. Yeah. Number two, plan it before you get to the goal setting session, just so that it's easier for you and the other person. It took us three hours. <laughs> And that was with planning. That was with planning. I'm literally so surprised, yeah. like how long that took. Mm -hmm. But I didn't even realize it was three hours because of how beneficial it was when you talk yeah. about the things you really, really want to someone that you you trust and someone that you care about. Don't just do it with any random person, no. please. That's it's and not it going to benefit be effective you anyway because they don't like. I know Aggie well, so when she's talking through her things, I and like I know her journey so far as yeah. well. So then it's like. 
I feel like I can have a educated enough input on your goals mm -hmm. because we know each other. Yes. And we know each other's journeys and what we kind of want anyway. Yeah. And you want someone who will be able to support you through your goals. Accountability partners. Yes, that's a thing. That is like a whole thing. Things are much better and easier once you've written them down. So yeah, have them ready. And then when you're discussing, be open to someone suggesting this or that. Don't be so fixed, especially when you trust someone. Because they could say something and you're like, damn. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So have that. There's always a question of whether to do weekly goals, monthly goals, um, quarterly goals, or whatever the case may be. The way we do it, we did a we did yearly. Like, what do you want by the end of December? I did twenty two. God, yeah. can you imagine? Like, what do we want the year to look like? Yes, and then we have got action plans leading to that. We've broken it down. Mm. So we've done a yearly one. However, we've we've decided on like little breakdowns within the year yes like quarterly or in the end of march because based on some of the goals we've said so by the end of april this needs to happen or this needs to happen therefore i'm we're, we're not going to talk to her next time in december about yeah. her goals so check, check in, in points yeah what check-ins do you think are more manageable for you oh it i mean it definitely does depend on what it is you're talking about so we we each individually have specific projects which we've set deadlines for for certain progressions mm. for that project if that makes sense so and are, are both similar but different in terms of timeline so i do think it does depend on what it is that you're talking about mm. however i think a three month check-in mm -hmm. is nice because that gives you time to learn and that gives you time to practice and execute make some mistakes and then you've got enough experience to then reflect on what you've done. Yeah. I feel like a month is too short because... Yeah. You need you momentum. Kind of you need to enough. know what's actually... What, yeah. what actions you're actually taking. Yeah. In a month, you could fake it. But yeah. four months, it's like, so you see... Yeah, like you've been doing you this seen. now. You've been! Yeah. So, yeah. I think to make... To have a check-in point where you've got, like, actionable points to work on and improve on what you've done in the past yeah. is good to have a three month chunk behind you i agree you put things into action then hopefully yeah so i would say have the goals for 2022 um like for real and then break it down break it down so that it's easier to actually see or mm -hmm. measure you want to yeah. measure because there's a difference between aspirations versus goals you can aspire to be something but then your goals it's like the stepping stones to that. Yes, basically. So you want to basically have, I think you should have a balance because I think aspirations are important mm -hmm. and you want to dream big. You want to say, I'm going to be the top choreographer, the top dancer in this industry. But then I need, how you get my that? systems <laughs> need to make sure that they are aligned with that. So you, I, I think you should always bring the balance between the two. 100%. Right, so how do we keep up with our goals and what are some of the tools we can tell them yeah. to be able to keep up with their goals because we're all trying to win all 2022 <clears throat> and everyone yeah. should win all 2022 what would you say um i mean we've touched on it but having an accountability partner definitely helps because i could be slacking on one of my things and i know that aggie next week is gonna pop up and be like girl have you done this so it's gonna make me then do it because I mean, I obviously didn't want to fail for myself, yeah. but then if there's someone checking in and actually being like, eh, you better step your game up, then it actually does make you do more. And also when you've got an accountability partner who's also working on their goals as well mm -hmm. and they're smashing it, you're then like, okay, we need, <laughs> to, we need to, yeah, we need to be on the same level here. So an accountability partner for sure. I always, well, I don't always, but times when I've really been on my goals, I read over them regularly. Mm -hmm. When you do a session like how we've done and we're talking about the whole year and we're talking about multiple different projects and this and that, it's very easy for one thing to get pushed to the side or forgotten mm. about. And then you read your goals at the end of the year and you're like, mm, learn Spanish. Forgot about <laughs> that, that one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, so read over them. And it kind of make, it sparks the excitement again as well when I read over my goals. So yeah, read over them, have someone that's going to be checking in on you. Do I have any other tips on that? Just having a structure where you can actually dedicate time to all of the things that you want to work on mm -hmm. so that nothing gets left behind. Those are the main things that I've 
implemented so far i think yeah no i think those are amazing and those are definitely <clears throat> applicable and you can apply that when you do your goal setting because obviously you're going to do that aren't you obviously right i would add to that and say similar to looking at them and re like constantly reminding yourself of them try and remember why you have goals in the first place because i'm more of a why am i doing what i'm doing the why is what actually makes me do things so i always think the end goal is this so naturally mm -hmm. i want to stick to the goals because i know if i stick to this i'm gonna get that if i'm consistent in this if i'm consistent in this area if i continue showing up in this part that is going to be true so i always yeah. try and stick to the end goal so that i'm like actually i might not want to wake up today but i'm doing it because i know mm -hmm. this will increase the health or increase the yeah. fitness that i'm trying to um attain which is which means having your goals somewhere you can see them will keep you in that mentality we say this to say don't write your goals and go to sleep or don't write your goals and put them down yeah. until december have them the, review them you know mondays are so underrated every monday look at them again and just be like right i didn't do that last week we can't bring back last week what can we do today so you can always get back on them yeah so don't lose hope on your goals when you were just speaking, you're, you reminded me of something that I was actually going to be doing this year. So I have an office space in my house, but right now it's literally just a desk. Yeah. But I want to make it like such like a inspiring, motivating like workspace. So what I'm going to do is get some sort of whiteboard, clipboard or something. Mm. And I'm going to have maybe like three of my main things just there that don't move. Yes. That's just there all the time. Yeah. Because then it's just, it's just reminder. there. It's there, so like, yeah. if ever I'm having a day where I'm feeling really demotivated or whatever, like I can look at my goals and just think, okay, this is why I'm this sat at this why? desk <laughs> because I'm trying to get there. Yeah. So yeah, having a nice workspace with like, whether it be a post-it note, mm -hmm. whether it be on your um, screen saver, you know, yeah. just have it visible. Constant reminder. Reminders. And it'll continuously keep you going. That's yeah. a really, really good idea. Yeah. Right, so we're going to share some of the goals that we have written down just to kind of maybe, sometimes some people don't know how to set goals or mm -hmm. just give you an idea. We have many. Yeah. It took us three hours just because we were obviously not saying all our goals, but we were discussing in depth. We were trying to give a roadmap to each other. So it might not take you three hours. So don't think three hours yeah. is what it needs. And they don't even have to be, I think sometimes goal, like, if someone was like what's your goal it's quite an intimidating intimidating question because yeah. you're thinking oh my god it has to be something spectacular and something mm. really quick it can be something so small yeah like i want to wake up an hour earlier every day like mm -hmm. that's an amazing goal mm -hmm. and if you did achieve that consistently the other benefits that you would get from that is so crazy yeah so don't feel overwhelmed by the goals thing it can be the smallest thing that applies to your life and will make such a huge impact on your life. So we've done big and we've done small in our session. Yes. Okay. And in the small ones, <laughs> hey. and in the small ones, we've called them adjustments just because, yeah. I mean, mostly when you're goal setting, you're not, you're not always just starting from nothing. Sometimes you are, you know, in some areas, yeah, mm. I am literally learning, but in some areas, it's like, oh, I just need to make sure I do more of that. Yeah. So a goal is also adjusting your current lifestyle. And yeah. just, just you know, it's I like, could do two days of that. I could save twice as that than yeah. I'm doing right now. So <clears throat> try and also, if you're feeling overwhelmed by the idea of goals, think you're enhancing what you've already got. Yeah. So let's share. So we, we broke it down into, what was it? Health, mm -hmm. money career and like relationship slash personal yeah so we're going to share three goals from the list and different categories that we have set just to give you examples yeah so i'll share one from okay so one of the points under the work category for me was to work smarter and not necessarily harder because i've been working hard you've been working <laughs> I've been working hard, I've been on the grind and I was saying to Aggie that I feel like now I'm at a point where I feel like I'm putting in so much and I'm not quite getting enough back um, because I'm working all the time, I'm always 
doing something but the return isn't as high as what I want it to be right now so I don't that doesn't mean that I want to suddenly start working harder because I feel like I work hard enough I just need to tweak how I'm working to work smarter to get more output for what I put in so a big part of that for me is going to be my scheduling um right now I kind of just write a to-do list and I soldier on through the to-do list. No matter how long each individual piece takes for me to do, I will just work through the to-do list, which isn't an efficient way to do it because that could leave me working until all, all hours of the night. So I'm going to try time blocking instead, which is a bit scary to me. Not scary, but a bit uncomfortable. The thought of it is a bit uncomfortable for me because... If I allocate two hours to do this job, if I don't finish it within the two hours to move on to something else, it's like, <laughs> to me, yeah. But I do feel like long term, it will be beneficial because then I can give time to everything mm. and not just waste all my energy on the one thing that took five hours in the day and then cramming everything else in in the end of the day and then it not be as efficient mm -hmm. and not my best work. So time blocking, I'm anticipating is going to allow me to give equal energy to all aspects of the things that I want to work on in 2022. So all of the things that I want to work on in 2022 will be growing at the same rate and at a faster rate than what they're growing already. So that's one for my work. In terms of finance, I want to increase my minimum monthly income. So I'm self-employed. So the amount of money that I make each month is completely up and down. I do have a general minimum right now, and that's what I'm trying to increase. Obviously, we're not gonna set ourselves a maximum. We ain't gonna do that, because there's, there's no, no limit. <laughs> there's no limit on, there's no upper limit, but I would love to increase my minimum that I'm making comfortably every single month. We did go into more detail about what that figure would be and how we're gonna get there, but yeah, that's my financial goal. And one of my personal like relationship type goals is to meet more people and just put myself in situations where I'm surrounding myself with people outside of my direct circle mm -hmm. just because that opens up it opens up things that I don't even know that I'm missing when you're around new people you're having different conversations to what you're used to you'll learn so much you'll be invited then to more places where mm -hmm. you're going to meet even more people so many more opportunities will come it's just fun so yeah that's fine that's my three that I'm going to share we had like 70 <laughs> yeah. each. <laughs> we had a million, yeah. yeah, no, I love them and I love Abby's goals. Abby knows exactly what she wants and she she knows what she needs to put in place. Like even if we fall short, like we still know what we need to have done. Yeah. And when we reflect, we're like, I know why that mm -hmm. didn't happen. So it's mm -hmm. never we never wanna show goal setting as some kind of like self-judgment if you don't no. make it as long as you know what's happening i know why i'm not here you know and then yeah. you can then try again the next year so yeah i love i love listening to abby's goals and being a supporter like of abby from day one it's like oh my <laughs> god she's like blossoming and blossoming so um, i love those that is a good point though i think every year when we've set our goals there's always something that i haven't done yeah yeah i don't and that's always normal. check everything oh my god yeah. if i had a year where i checked everything off oh god imagine. wow what this this might be the year. 2022 yeah <laughs> but yeah for sure yeah so let's normalize that and too yeah don't feel bad about that because life happens you yeah. know like yeah. in an ideal world you would have everything done but it's not an ideal world so yeah yeah but 2022 will be goals. <laughs> <laughs> okay so one of my career goals as a dancer, I don't feel like I am utilizing all of my creative flow, basically. And one of them is to make concept videos because I have all these ideas in my head. And yes, I do put content of me dancing, whether it's whatever the case may be, whether I'm in class, whether I'm doing someone else's choreography, a challenge, a reel, but I'm not putting enough of what I know I can create. So because that's the goal, to be more creative, I've put it in a measurable way of making a concept video, one of them every two months, just to release the pressure of like one every month or anything mm -hmm. like that. But for anyone who doesn't know what a concept video is, it's basically creating a production, but just with yeah. dance. So I get dancers, however many, two, three, five, I put them in a room, I give them choreography, I find a videographer, I find a concept, I find somewhere to shoot and I shoot an actual production. And that is the things that probably will go in that creatively will make me such a better 
dancer, performer, choreographer, because I want to get into that too. So I've noticed that I'm not utilizing all of my dance talent by just doing other people's choreography or just going to class. That's not really digging into why I love dance. So I'm trying to bring that back and obviously how passionate I am about it. I know I love the process. Yeah. So I'm putting it down as an actual measurable goal. See, now I've said it, you can hold me accountable. If you don't see a concept video being posted on this YouTube channel. to be up in her DMs like, we waiting. waiting. Yes, <laughs> so that is like a dance one. Financial one. I have put, I am increasing my financial literacy by like 7 million. So the thing with me, it because money management is everything, if you didn't know. I know you know, but just, just to say that. You can have all the money in the world, but if you can't manage your money, what does that mean? Why? Why? Yeah. Why are you here? <laughs> why are you here? So one of my big goals is to be financially literate, basically, and for me to be able to manage my finances. It's not about earning, it's about keeping. Mm -hmm. Because earning's fine, but where is it? <laughs> Our money talk was where long. Is it? Oh my God, we talk about money we for about so money long. We about so long. And so, it was needed. Yeah. So mm -hmm. like we went to the specifics and I went to the mm -hmm. really specifics. But what I will say is my I listen to podcasts a lot, podcasts about wellness and about things that will help me as a, as well being. But why aren't two of those money yeah. podcasts? You know, I'm going to add money or financial literacy podcast into my routine. I'm going to read more books about money. I'm going to dedicate more time about to research investments and to research how else you can make better use of your money. So so that it's just not I'm just not comfortable thinking that yeah, it'll just figure itself out. No. Just like what I do with my wellness and my trauma issues, I didn't do that sitting down doing nothing. I dug deep and read books about how to do that. So that's what I'm going to do. That's a huge goal. Yeah. I think the, the last few months of 2021, I've started taking that really seriously. I also ordered the Patricia Bright um, journal, which is the money and, mind and money journal, which helps you with finances. Um, one of the things I was doing last year was putting a spreadsheet of every single thing I was spending. <sighs> that was so exposing, but it's like, you can't say you don't know where yeah. it went because there it is. There it is. So I know that journal is going to help me. And so basically just taking the steps of managing my finances even more than I am now. So that's like putting saving goals for next year, which I will meet. You will meet. I will meet. You will yeah. exceed. exceed. You will surpass. You surpass. Yeah. And lastly, um, for relationships slash personal, I was like, I want to invest much more intentional um, time with the relationships that are close to me. Because now I think I've reached a point where I know which relationships I want to nurture, which relationships mm. are really close to me and which relationships are important to me. So I almost want to make a conscious decision of how to best remember what's important in their lives right now. You know how life can get busy and you almost are just like, catching up and you're like i didn't even know that about mm -hmm. this person or that person and obviously you don't have to do it with everyone i, I mean the re you relationships select you. i'm selected to but something like this i i know how i can actively support abby as a friend and that gives me joy so i've even put in my calendar the things that i know she needs to have done so i want to have that across the board with the people close to me i just want to nurture the people closest to me because sometimes we end up knowing more about people we don't care about than mm -hmm. people that are close to us yeah. and that those are the things you regret when you're older even family i want to um my extended family there's family that i get on with so much when i'm in kenya but when i'm here i just poof mm -hmm. so i'm really trying to to get what i can from everyone i already have so that was a third one yeah, that's a big one. That's super important. That yeah. one. That I feel like that just improves your quality of life in general. Because you're not out you're there on, looking. Yeah. You, you're just not distracted. Yeah. Yeah, you're not distracted. And you just got all. the people, like, you've got your little squad that you're happy with. That yeah. That's like, yeah. And you can solid. pour into them. Yeah. And then you're going to return from that as well. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, that's an example of um some of our goals. So yeah, bigger and smaller goals. Yeah. 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 So... We had a lot, but we had three hours left. <laughs> yeah. And the way we structured it is we go category by category. Mm -hmm. Aggie shared, then I shared. So money, Aggie shares, we discuss. I might input, I might just be like, yeah, great. 
if I don't have anything to add. Yeah. And then I do my money, I, we reflect, Aggie adds on her input, and then we move on. Career, we discuss yeah. that. I discussed that. Personal, I, Career yeah. and finance took like two and a half hours. Yeah, yeah. we did no, the last, actually, yeah, did. We did the last We did three. the last two and We got big hour. goals, guys. We got some big goals, which is good. It feels good that they're both as big. Yeah. Because there's nothing I said that I was like, mm. like, you know, she might think it's too yeah. big. I don't know. It just felt like, okay, as long as you can tell me how, you can keep that, sis. Yeah. You can keep that goal. Yeah. So lastly... <laughs> Why do you think goals are important? <sighs> it's like a purpose, isn't it? You're, I think if you're always working towards something, it just feels like progression feels good. Mm. So if you're chipping away at a goal, even if it's slow progress, it's progress and that feels good. Yeah. Whereas if you're just floating along and you're like, oh yeah, you know, whatever happens, happens, just going with the flow. There's no like real direction, mm. I feel like. And if you, goals can be personal, it can be professional, anything. So if you're on a direct, I mean, not direct, obviously life happens and there's like zigzags and stuff, but if you're on like a general direction in all areas of your life and you have a journey for each area of your life, I just feel like you're gonna be continuously elevating. Mm -hmm. So then, yeah, that's obviously a great feeling if you're continuously elevating and working on yourself, so. That's why I personally find them. I agree, because it gives you some kind of direction. Yeah. And I think, uh, I think I'm going to butcher it, but I've seen a quote on TikTok that said, your lack of discipline, because I, th I, I put discipline and goals near each other because you can't really you can't achieve, achieve a goal, goal without that. discipline. But your lack of discipline is the reason, is that your lack of discipline is the reason you're not where you want to be. Because you yeah. could have talent, you could have money, you could have everything going for you, but that lack of you setting that time aside to start that business, you setting that time aside to do this or do that, that's the only reason why you're not where you yeah. want to be. And that hit hard. And it's, so it's true. true. I think it's in Atomic Habits as well. Yeah. Um, there's a section, there's a, like a small section in a chapter, and it's basically saying that talent isn't the be all and end all. No. So if you've got person A who's super, super talented at, singing mm. but their discipline is awful but then you've got person b who's like good at singing but their discipline and their routines mm -hmm. are top notch person b is more than likely gonna go past person a yeah. even if their talent is less yeah because if you're constantly working on something like relentlessly working then you're why would you not succeed exactly hard work beats talent when talent hard doesn't work, work hard that's it yeah. That's it. That's the yeah. one. Hard work beats talent when talent doesn't work hard. That's it. Yes. That's the, that is so true. So keep the discipline. So the discipline is what, like, the goals bring you discipline. And discipline, you can't have a successful life without any kind of discipline. Even if it's just relationships, if you're not remembering to check in, you know, there are things that you're just not going to be able to get. So I think goals are important because <clears throat> they keep you in, they keep you disciplined and they keep your life in check. So that all the amazing flashy things you want to do, it's like mm. they hone that in. Because you can still do that, but you just have to yeah. structure it in a way that can actually be possible. And if you can like point out things that you're not liking in your life, mm. you then think, okay, what specific thing can I change to help this? Set yourself a time frame for it. Like goals don't have to be what I want to achieve. It mm. can be what do I want to change that's not going right. Yeah. It can be the other way as well. Yeah. So, bad habits. Yeah. Set yourself some goals. But yeah, goals. That's it. Yeah, yeah. I feel I feel like I want to work and do everything. Like, like right now. now. <laughs> Especially at the goal setting session. Yeah. You're like, get me in there. I'm so get ready. me in there. I'm so oh my ready. God, 2022. Oh, we're gonna do a video like this in 2022 for 2023. Oh my god. 2023. Oh my god, no. I don't even want to. I don't need to think about that. Yeah. But yeah, guys, hope you enjoyed this. I hope you got some tips. I hope you, you know, you can tell us in the comments how you do your goal setting sessions, whether goals even, um, how goals work best for you, whether it's monthly, quarterly, or whether you're becoming an accountability for someone or sharing it with someone because mm. we do think that's important. And even just like dropping your goal in the comments of the video, that's sharing it. Yeah. So that's putting it out into the world. So that's more accountability to succeed and, and achieve that goal. 
and we're gonna hold you accountable so definitely put that in the comments if you like this video give it a thumbs up please it really helps the channel and it's free and don't forget to subscribe share and comment so thank you abs this has been me. nice yeah. we literally had the session and now we just spoke about it the session. Yeah. so yeah god oh god <laughs> <laughs> our brains are hurting our brains are hurting but <laughs> in yeah. a good way we yeah. will see you oh don't forget to follow us on our socials i'll put that below and we will see you very very soon actually sooner than you think yeah <laughs> bye